Hi, this is Craig of the Information Lab, and in this short video, I'm going to go through Tableau's latest feature, which is the Web Data Connector. This feature is currently in beta right now, um, and hopefully we'll see it in the, in the main release soon. In this example, I'm going to use a, a data connector that I've recently built, which connects to a, an open data platform called Quandle. Um, we're going to get some data from there, pull it directly into Tableau, and then we'll talk through sort of what's going on in the background and the advantages of this type of connection. So let's start with connected data. And on the bottom here, I have the new web data source. So I'm going to reach out to this Quandle web connector, which I recently built. And in order to get started, I need to get the, the data source name from, from Quandle. So we're going to go over to the Quandle site and have Tableau's stock price. I'm going to grab the Quandle code from the top right here and paste it into a data connector. That's going to go off and get the names of the columns, and I have to simply assign the data types for each one. Hit get data. So the table is now going to go off. It's going to query the Quandle API. This is just like querying any uh, any other web source, any API, pulling the data down and assigning it that that metadata that I just set. There we are, it's done. And now it's just like any other data source in Tableau. We can drag out date and the closing price. It's an average. One of the benefits to this type of data source over sort of exporting from Quandle into say a CSV file is we can right click in here and refresh the extract. And we expect when this gets to a server release, that'll also be scheduled uh, on the server as well. So that seemed easy. Let's have a quick look at what's being done in the background. So this is kind of the loop that has happened uh, during that process. We brought up the web connector window and pasted any details. And sort of this is the part that uh, someone needs to develop in uh, currently in JavaScript. Um, I'm sure you could use other languages as well to kind of achieve the same goal. The connection is prepared. So I've, I've sort of classified this as getting usernames, passwords, selecting an API call, in this case, dropping in the Quandle code, um, adding search criteria if you're, you're searching a, a, say, a social media web source. Um, this is the kind of the, the end user experience that's initially built by um, the, the designer to just introduce you to um, the connector and to set the parameters that you want to set. You then go off and get the metadata and do a final API call. So Tableau has passed the variables that you set, and goes off, gets the column names, the column types, and uh, brings in the data via that API call. That's then returned into Tableau. Um, Tableau builds the TDE on the fly. And then, of course, from there, you can draw the chart and you can circumvent the top of the part of that loop by just going straight to a refresh to go all the way around. So what's happening in the background um, in terms of code? Well, there are a few primary calls that are, that are made within the, uh, the web connector. This is currently within, uh, in JavaScript. When the page loads, okay, so this document ready function here, um, we present the, the interface, which allows to drop in the Quandle code and set the, the data types for the, the column headers. Um, and then that code is completed with three calls to, uh, to Tableau's uh, API. First of all, giving the, the data connection um, a name, passing it some variables into the final call, and then um, hitting submit to get Tableau to actually execute that final call. The final call is made up of two parts. Um, the get columns does what it says. It, you, you give it an array of, of field names, an array of field types, and they get passed into Tableau. Um, and then finally, get table data. Again, as it sounds, this is what goes off and gets the, uh, the, the data from the API. And again, that data is passed through as an array in, um, into Tableau to, to, then be, to then generate the TDE. So you might look at this and think, great, you know, I want to get a hold of it. Um, I want to have a play around. It does require a custom version of Tableau Desktop with a custom key. If you want access, access is available via um, a, a beta forum, which you can get access to by emailing Ashley here. I would recommend 
only emailing if you're able to install a new version of Tableau on your machine. Okay. Um, you know, if you've got to go through a round of getting permission from IT, getting authorization, change requests, um, it, you know, you might just want to wait until it's actually released in full. Um, but feel free to give Ashley an email if you do want to get on the beta program. Um, and then if you want to play around with a, a ready-made connector, um, go on the information lab.co.uk slash data slash quandle. The HTML is that uh, connector that I just demoed.